Come on, man, you gotta be Googling this stuff, man. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. Oh, that's so true. We used to have to argue for hours. <laughs> 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 Have this person coming through and I don't know what this would be in the way this is coming across but I almost feel like I don't know if people acknowledge that this person was invincible or that they thought that they were invincible or what this is in the way this is coming through but I basically have to bring up um, someone that I would be acknowledging as being passed away the feeling is life gets cut too short or like someone passes away before their time either middle age or earlier definitely yes okay. I'm snapping my fingers at this when I'm talking about the timing of this passing the feeling is like this is someone who's strong who shouldn't pass away when they do and there's that a could feeling. make a lot of sense okay um, I really want to emphasize like physical fitness strength like I'm saying punching bags this thing's very physically physically strong um, in this way, which makes it kind of strange that this person would pass when they do. There's a reference to cardiac arrest, cardiac arrest, cardiac arrest, as in like someone having a heart attack, a sudden. That's, that's, stuff makes sense. There's a reference to Las Vegas, and I need to get this out. With the person that you're thinking of, do you know if there were any trips to Las Vegas together? If you oh, and this I, person- I, Las Vegas Las makes a lot of sense for that guy. Um, his name is Mike Lemke. He was a fr friend of mine, we, we fought together. We both fought out there, um, and, uh, it was one of the things, it was, it was a shock. I mean, he was a young kid, and uh, he was sparring with a friend of his, and uh, you know, he got hit, didn't feel good, walked to the side of the lane, and hit the floor. Had a heart, had a heart, heart attack. I give it one sec. I'm trying to think. I have a couple things popping in, so I'm just gonna kind of tune in for a sec, and we'll see what comes through. So there's that. Do you have someone who's passed away before their time, like at an earlier age? Yes. Was this something that could be perceived as quick or people did not feel like they got to say goodbye? Yes. Gotcha. And the interesting thing was that I felt like I needed to kind of talk about this person who died young or passed away early. That was really kind of the emphasis. Okay, my heart is racing right now. Oh. Um, okay, so. As soon as we sat on the couch, he was like, I'm picking up on someone that passed away tragically young. And the person that I want to connect with passed away when he was 16. And I was 14 when it happened. And so obviously that was like lighting up in my mind. You can see if someone was like named after a bird or if someone had a nickname that was like a bird. I know it seems weird, but just kind of keep it in mind. <laughs> it's weird. It's like a weird nickname. But yeah. what would that be? Who? That would be now making a hoot, so. We've always had this connection, our group of friends, with owls because of him, and we did, like, a T-shirt that was a fundraiser for his memorial that had an owl on it, and so I got this owl tattooed on my rib cage before the last games. There's a reference to what looks like Ellie, or... I'm looking at what looks like E, and then L, and then L, and then E is kind of the only way that I would be able to describe it. You can't be messing with me, Dom. <laughs> come on, man. You got to be Googling this stuff, Dom, <laughs> before you come in here, dog. Come on, we're not going to What? What is that? I'm talking about Michelle Thomas. OK. She was my old co-star from Family Matters. Right. And she died of stomach cancer. Quickly. She had a lot of friends. <laughs> she had a lot of friends in the music industry. Come on, man, you gotta be Googling this stuff, man. This is crazy, bro. There is a reference in his own way to a bit of an apology in his passing. Does that make sense for you? Yeah. Yeah, it's um, my best friend. Okay. And he, d he died of a heart sure. condition. Jeremy was my best friend and he also dated my other best friend. And it was the three of us always. We were like, we did everything together. I can tell communication style wise that he hasn't came through before, most likely. Yeah, he's never come through when I've done any tried to do readings or anything. Interesting. Nothing, so right, right, right. it's been hard. Um, he really didn't, I mean, there's a reference as he's coming through. Mm -hmm. I feel like I go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. 
I feel like I know that something is off and there's just a reference almost to a feeling of like, I'm sorry that that didn't get, you know, conveyed mm. to, the, to the fullest extent. When was the last time that you two actually crossed paths? The night before he died. Okay. We were at a bar the night before. Jeremy and I, we locked each other in the bathroom. We were like, it's okay, boy and girl peeing in the same bathroom. We're fine, you know, we're best friends. And I remember going to the bathroom and he's like, I can't believe you dragged me here. So there was the significance of the bathroom. It wasn't like I knew, like, Jeremy's gonna die. But I remember thinking something wasn't right. Okay, so <laughs> let's see what we get. Give me one sec. This is strange. You have like a weird death here coming through is like the way I need to kind of process this. Whoever this was, and it would have been a female, not a male. I'm also seeing music signs. This is interesting the way this comes across. Mm -hmm. uh, she used to, she's having like, what is this? Uh, she'll, she'll like joke. Um, <laughs> this is weird. I don't know what this is. She's like doing this weird hand thing with me. It's like a funny, like, <laughs> like a weird, she's just being silly. Um, someone might go in by a nickname. I'm getting a reference to. It's like a name I've never heard before. It'd be like a really unique one. Um, I think we all know what's going on. Well, most of us. Uh, I don't know this name, but it's funny because she's the type that could have given an advice and told everyone like, get out of that relationship. He's not good for you. <laughs> but when it came to getting that advice herself, it was much harder. Oh, that's so true. We used to have to argue for hours. <laughs> so she is not lying. I used to be like, and then she would tell me, well, I just had to argue with you to get my point across when, and she was like, I knew an hour ago that you was right. I'm like, what are you doing to me? That's Lisa. Yeah. And then she's referencing to a car accident. Mm -hmm. And this is interesting because she's placing these two together, but mm -hmm. she's having me acknowledge that if this had happened, in a different country, this wouldn't have happened. Danger. Oh. But I wouldn't think that it would happen to me in the States. So the reason why I'm gonna describe this is if someone is not familiar with the way that we drive in a different country, mm -hmm. and as a result, we die, mm -hmm. when, had we been on the road and perfectly capable, we might have been able to manage in the United States, you know, somewhere where we might I have been. I know what familiar. you're talking about because it was only two lanes. Right. When she got in the car wreck. Right. And it's the way that the roads are.